HitFilm Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to build this TIE Fighter from scratch in HitFilm Pro. So this TIE Fighter actually comes from the same place that we got our TIE Fighter or we got our X-Wing last time when I did the X-Wing tutorial. And I will leave a link in the description below to the X-Wing tutorial, how to rig that up. And also I will leave a link in the description to this free Star Wars model pack by Andrew Kramer and Video Copilot. You can go and download this yourself and then you can follow along with this tutorial, okay? So this is going to be very similar to the tutorial that we did for the X-Wing, except it's going to be different and I'm gonna show you why. So I'm gonna start by importing my 3D model and it is Space Fighter. I'll double click on that and you can see that here it is, okay? Now it comes with two arms, the body and the wings, or the windows, I mean, and then two wings, okay? I am going to go ahead and bring all of those in. And then under materials, I am going to open up to look for the diffused materials. But what you can find is, is that you have arms, you have body, and then you have wings. So you have three different material groups that are for this model. Now, how are you going to deal with that? Well, if I, for example, brought in the wings. I'm just going to use the wing. You can see that the wings look really nice. Okay. But if you look at the body and the arms, they look terrible, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring in the wings first. Okay. And specular, I'm going to do the wing specular and normal. I'm going to do the wing normal. Okay. I'm going to flip this over to cook torrents. If um, I ever wanted it to be reflective because they're big flat panels. I probably would want to make that planner. Okay, but I'm going to leave the specular reflectivity at zero, but you could change that. And then I'm going to click OK. All right. And making a new composite shot, bringing this into my new composite shot, I'm going to rename this TIE Fighter. Okay. And opening this up, you will find the models. And I'm going to rename this Wings. This will be the Wings, okay? And if I open it up, you will see that you have all of the groups, all right? So I want to remove the body, the arms, and the windows. So what I'm going to do is open up the body and under Scale, make it zero. And you can see now it's gone because I've scaled it to zero, okay? If I do the same with the right arm, then the right arm is gone. If I do the same with the left arm, then the left arm is gone. And then if I do the same with the windows, then the windows are gone. And all that I have left now is the wings. Okay. So now you go, well, that's a kind of a not very good looking type fighter. That's okay. Because what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to bring the model in again. So space fighter, but this time I'm going to go ahead and highlight all the groups just like I did before. But this time, I'm going to go with the body. Now you can look at this and say, wow, the body looks great. But the arms look terrible and the wings look just horrendous, right? Oh, yeah, that's awful. Okay. Um, I think I will go ahead and bring in the body specular and also the body normal. And then I will flip this over to Cook Torrance. I'm going to leave this spherical because the body happens to be spherical there you go although probably it won't be too shiny and now i'm going to drag that in and put it here above the wings okay and i'm going to rename that body all right and i might even rename these out here this is the wings right this is the body okay so that i know which ones were um you know textured which if i open up the body now we're going to leave the body but the tie fighter arm we're going to make zero. The wing, we're going to make zero. The other arm, we're going to make zero. Okay. And the other wing, we're going to make zero. We're going to leave the wing or the, bo the body and the windows there. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're going to do one more. Here we go. We're going to bring it in 3D model. 
Space Fighter. And this time, I'm going to highlight them all again. But this time, Materials, Default. And I am going to use the arms. So now again, the wings look terrible. The body looks terrible, but the, but the arms look great. Just fantastic. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. I love it. Okay, so uh, arm specular and arm normal. And then uh, I'm going to leave that spherical, but I will make it cook torrents. Leave everything else and bring it on in. I'm going to rename this arms. And then I will drag it in. I'll put it in between the body and the wings, since they're in between the body and the wings. And then under the body of that, I'm going to scale it to zero. And under the wing, I will scale to zero. I'll leave the arm as is. Okay, under the other wing, I'll scale to zero. And then under the windows, we'll scale that to zero also. So now I have all of these pieces in place, and they all look pretty good. What I'm going to do now is create a new point layer, make it three-dimensional, add the camera, and I am going to call this TIE Fighter Control Point, or whatever I want to call it, right? And then inside the TIE Fighter groups, this is the, we'll start with the body. Uh, I will transform the body to it and the windows to it. And then in the arms, I will transfer the right arm and the left arm. And then under the wings, I will transfer the right wing and the left wing. And that's all I need to transfer. I don't need to transfer any of the rest. Now, if I were to twirl that around, you'll see that that looks great and it controls everything and everything looks awesome, right? Uh, and then if I were to add a light to the scene, you will see that it actually lights it up very, very nicely. Uh, and everything looks really sharp. If I add, I would want to, of course, turn on all of the, uh, you know, shadows and everything like that, motion blurs, and then start moving it around in space. But basically, that's it in a nutshell. So that's how you rig up a TIE Fighter. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday and Monday, and thanks for your support.